All right, guys, welcome back to another Madden Academy video. Here we are on fourth and five. Manu has the ball back. Uh, it is tied up, and um, this is high-level Madden, guys. So first of all, it's we're in trips tight end, but we're actually going to motion this guy out and make it a empty set. For context, he hasn't been doing this at all this drive, so it's perfect a perfect timing to go into the empty set. It's right here on fourth and five. He's gonna get a lot of shallow work underneath with, with uh, see like, wait, can we go back really fast? He's gonna get a lot of shallow work underneath with these underneath routes and, oh jeez, my apologies. So he's gonna get this shallow so like if this guy bails, this guy kind of sits and looks at, so let me, let me show you if this guy, okay. If this guy is in a, uh, a cloud, then he may be able to look at this guy and see, is he going to play this or is he going to come down? Then he might be able to throw that over top. If the guy, if the guy kind of comes down on sharp. Uh, this is kind of acting as a clear out route for this late. So this is going to clear out this get over open over top late because we're thinking this guy might be in a, in a, in a flat and then, um, but more than anything, kind of looking at this sharp route, trying to get him open with this kind of the user should look at the crosser and then, and then we're going to have Holland's open late. So it's just really a lot of reads here. The only downside here is if your opponent does send heat and he gets heat quick, uh, you could get screamed at, but a really high level Madden decision here. So this guy is going to bail here. You probably can throw this and get it anyway, but you might not, if you don't get a good rack animation, you might actually get tackled. So I don't like the throw there. Yeah. Like you would have to pass lead it like all the way over here. And you might be fine like you're definitely fine now like you could throw that now but this is what i'm saying like the user is gonna might potentially yep peel off right there um because he's thinking you're gonna throw that and then that's just perfect to have sharp there on that underneath route and then you're just like as the defender you're hoping for a ko here this is the obvious this this over here is the um excuse me that flat route was the obvious read but we're able to convert it here on fourth and five because we went empty. We kind of spread out the whole defense and that's kind of what you want to do with empty and possession downs. You want to, you don't want to go empty necessarily every play, but certain times you want to go empty with a motion just to spread out the defense, to give your, your opponent something extra to think about, hesitate as a user. And he didn't really hesitate. He just said, okay, I'm not going to get dotted on a crosser for a first down. And we're just going to pray for a KO here. And these underneath routes, Manu ended up having open for uh, conversions. This wasn't even the easiest throw he could have made, but it ended up working out. The drive continues, and that's high-level man, guys. You just don't be afraid to throw the shallow things. You know, you take what the defense gives you, and boom, we got a conversion here. So that being said, guys, I'm going to get up out of here. Keep, you know, take these concepts into your into your mind and apply them to your, your game and your skill set. Like, it's scary, right? Fourth and five can get scary. Like, you're like, I don't want to really throw shallow. What if it's a KO? What if I get a weird animation and he catches it short? And sometimes it does happen, guys. But at the end of the day, what if you throw it at the crosser and you get lurked? That's like even worse, right? So you just want to be prioritizing the reads that give you the best possible chance of success. And then you have to live with the outcome. At the... It, as long as you're putting good combos out there, you live with the outcome and it can't always be perfect, guys. So here we get this conversion. Maybe another time we don't, but it's all good because we took the correct read. Th forcing the crosser there. Maybe there is a world where you're able to fit it in somehow. Maybe there's a bad user, maybe whatever, you know, but uh, it's not the read, guys. So more than anything, stay calm, stay cool, stay collected on fourth down and take the best read available. And sometimes it's not going to work out, but a lot of times it will. Have confidence in yourself, guys. With that being said, I'm getting up out of here. I will see you in the next one. Peace.